It's the coal seam gas industry versus the NIMBYs. But a leading policy think tank says Australia will be the big loser out of the row over coal seam gas. A report by the Committee for the Economic Development of Australia, CEDA, has concluded that billions of dollars and thousands of jobs are at stake if governments can't ease community concerns. Here's Philip Co finance correspondent Philip Lasker. It's a delicate balance. People want cheap energy, but not necessarily when it comes directly from their backyard. Australia's future energy options are so critical that every particular option needs to be considered. CETA says when it comes to unconventional energy like coal seam gas, we're seeing superficial arguments pitting farmers or environmentalists against miners. Its report recommends better community engagement. I think it makes a, a number of very important points. One of the points is around the balance uh, that there needs to be between a coal seam gas industry and also coexistence with other land users. But CETA says more needs to be done to reassure communities. It calls for all interested parties to be brought together, the introduction of uniform, easily understood property access laws and environmental safeguards that are in place for decades, not just years. Clearly some of the, some of the requirements, some of the legislative requirements need uh, the light touch of the COAG process, but what it certainly needs is of course a national approach with some tweaking at the, at the local level. And the report also identified problems like the water use exemptions that coal seam gas miners enjoy in Queensland which means that they're exempt from all the, all the considerations that apply under water plans and in the water entitlement uh, licensing process, like thinking about the kinds of ecosystems that could be impacted by extracting that water. CEDA says coal seam gas protests in New South Wales and a possible moratorium in Victoria show the industries losing the PR battle. There's a lot of work going on when it comes to community engagement and a lot of pre best practices are being shared uh, between the different companies. The problem with the industry is, is they have caused so much damage to their social licence that it would take a hell of a turnaround. And community groups like Lock the Gate are not for turning. The evidence that we need the gas for the future is not actually that strong anymore. We're very rapidly reaching a point where renewables can actually meet our needs. But that's yet another heated debate for another day.